Greetings folks, today I'm going to be looking at the little Esheen EX5 GPS Quad. It's a sub 250 gram Mavic Mini uh, competition I suppose. Um, let's have a look, it comes in a few different varieties. Uh, you can get uh, 2.4 gig Wi-Fi or 5 gig Wi-Fi, one battery, two battery or three batteries and a 200 meter uh, range or a 1000 meter range and with or without the carry case. Uh, now mine is the uh, three batteries and uh, 1000 meter range uh, with 4K camera which is the top of the range I think. The box that came in came pretty battered uh, but that didn't matter because it comes with this really nice sturdy carry case that uh, really protected it well. No damage to the quad at all. Now, quick run through some of the specs. Uh, weight about 229 grams, 1406 brushless motors, 1K range, 30 minute flight time, uh, max flying speed 7 meters per second, max altitude 120 meters, GPS follow distance 5 to 20 meters, gesture shooting distance about 2 meters, has a wide angle 4K. Uh, gimbal controlled camera, so 150 degree angle of view, which is great. Uh, rotate up and down 90 degrees or 0 to 90 degrees. Has a 50 times zoom, 4K resolution, 25 frames a second. Image transmission to the phone is uh, 1080p. Photo resolution is full 4K, so that's uh, 3840 by 2160. Video resolution 1920 by 1080. So is it 4K video? We'll find out when we actually start shooting, I guess. And USB charging, anyway. So let's have a look at the quad. So here it is. It is definitely uh, like the Mavic Mini. Very, very similar design. Little camera there on the front, battery pops in there, looks like we've got some LEDs in the front, button, power button on the top, I haven't charged it up yet or anything so I'm going to have to do that before we actually operate it. So here's the extra batteries, I get three batteries for nice long flight time, here's the controller, have some little warning. Um, information there four AAA batteries in there to power the controller couple of antennas here with which you can orient whichever way you want that feels okay so that's so we've got a spare props a prop changing um, screwdriver charging cable and a little bit of a manual there, instruction manual in a couple of different languages. Now there's one crucial thing you have to know about this quad. It does not have provision for an SD card on the quad at all. It doesn't record on the quad. You can only record what it transmits back to your phone via Wi-Fi. You may be able to take 4K still photos, but the video that's transmitted back is only 1080p. And being over Wi-Fi, it's not going to have a great range. I think it's something like... 200 meters they say and it's fully dependent on your connection with your phone so it's not likely to be smooth it's going to be choppy and broken up i would think but we'll try that out in the field so you can't think of this as a competitor for the mavic mini it definitely isn't it looks like it but it does nothing like the recording capabilities of the mavic mini so on the controller we have uh, tilt the gimbal up and down these two buttons here uh, auto takeoff there uh, into a hover, auto home there, I have a headless mode I think that is, uh, I'm not too sure that, what that one is. Take still photos, take video photos, go into orbit mode and change the speed. It operates on the Esheen Pro app that you download from the App Store, whatever App Store you're, uh, you, you're using. Uh, and this is the screen uh, we have. I don't really know what all of these things mean. This will be the same as the buttons on the controller, sort of take off and, and rehome, tilt up and down, stills, video, orbit mode, specs about speed and altitude and distance and uh, angles and all that sort of stuff, what mode you're in, 
uh, VR mode there if you're using VR goggles. Uh, put the controller onto the screen and other things that we'll find out when we get going. There's the map. So you can put in waypoints. And we get instructions for the app as well. So we're just about ready to try it now. Now I was interested in the batteries because they did look like two 18650s like the Mavic Mini, but in fact it's a two cell LiPo. Uh, it says 2200 milliamp hour two cell LiPo with the charging circuit. And uh, well, that's okay uh, as long as it works, but uh, it's a bit sneaky. So I've turned it on, acquired satellites, uh, linked up to the Wi-Fi app. Uh, I've done the compass calibration. It prompts you to do that on the screen. So now I'm going to try auto takeoff. Yes. Doesn't want to do it. All right, so it sticks down and out to fire it up and push the throttle up. I think when it's uh, within one or two metres of the ground, it's doing the, uh, the ground sensing. does a very good job of keeping there. There's a little bit of wind popping up now. Let's go for a fly around. Might get up a bit higher just to be safe. So it flies quite nicely, nice and smooth. Be a good one to sort of learn to fly a, a, a GPS quad, I think. Do nice coordinated turns. That's sort of maximum speed at the probably the lowest speed setting. But that's doing pretty well. Get some height. It goes up pretty quickly. You go for a little fly around up there. Look on the screen. What I'll do is get the screen recording going. The video is pretty disappointing. It, it, it is showing up as 4K, but only really low frame rate, like nine frames a second on my computer. So it's not sort of what it says in the specs, as far as I know. The photos are pretty good. I'll do, I'll show you a whole stack of photos uh, that I've taken around here. Not too sure about the video. It doesn't seem to be all that compatible with my computer. If you're careful, you can pick it out of the air, hold the throttle down and it calms down. There we go. Uh, the best way to get video, I think, is to record the screen. Go up high and get some views, little yachts out there on the water. Tilt up a bit, take a photo. Camera isn't stabilized, but you can tilt it up and down. Let's go out a bit further. Look around towards the launching ramp over there. Punch it up high. Bravely going out over the water. Look. Better not tempt fate too much. So I wouldn't think of it as a as a good video drone. Uh, it's a good camera drone, I suppose, and good fun to fly. Um, has all the uh, the droney sort of the the circle and all that sort of stuff. But when you can't get decent quality video, there's not a lot of point really. Um, Should try some of them anyway, if I can see. 
Let's go up higher. Waypoint. No, that's not what I want. Lost it off the screen now. Anyway, we'll just fly around for another day. So it definitely flies well. See the camera tilting down there. Photo. Wind's blowing it around a little bit. in black oh, there's a bottom camera as well didn't realize that Orbit, let's try an orbit. So it's going up, going out. Circling around. Will that do an orbit now? Come on, do something. It doesn't seem to be orbiting or anything. Just sitting there. What happened there? All right, bring it home. Don't know what it was doing there. It should have been orbiting. Going up high. Come on, come home. Coming over to my spot, should just come down now and come on, down you come. Now it's coming down. This is the auto land. I don't want to land on the grass, so I'll click that again. Oh, it's going to land by itself. We'll see what it does. On the grass. Cut the grass. Oh well, that's kind of worked. Oh well. So there we go. It's not too bad. It's not certainly nowhere near a, a Mavic Mini in terms of video capability. Uh, I don't even know if the video is going to work really. Certainly flies okay. Let's try the speed. So this is this is sort of default speed. Bit quicker. Faster speed now. Sending a little bit. 
Uh, it gets pretty quick going downwind. So back to sort of default speed now. So he's got a bit of speed about it. Let's try the orbit button. Put it out here. Orbit button goes up, goes out, sits there. Couldn't do anything. Don't know what's happening. Yeah, don't know. Seems to do something, but I don't know what it does. I'm not going to try the waypoints or anything like that. Uh, decent amount of flight time. I'm getting probably 15 minutes per battery at a, at a guess. Pretty controllable, not too bad at all really. So there you go, the Esheen EX5. It's not perfect, I wouldn't call it a video quad. Uh, photos are fine, uh, good to learn how to fly I suppose and play with the extra bits uh, if you game. Uh, something seems to work, some things don't. But that'll about do it, I think. Thanks for watching.